it work very fast even on slow USB drive. Super light portable operating system. How much does it takes? 8 gigabytes, 4 gigabytes, 2 gigabytes or perhaps 1 gigabyte of storage? No friends. 300 megabytes or to be correctly 277 megabytes of free space and i'm talking about linux lex yes a linux portable operating system few words about system requirements i recommend to have a usb stick that at least has one gigabyte of storage of free space you can save files then remove it from your computer insert it into another laptop or pc and voila you can work without any problem. So let's get it started. So guys, we are in the Windows and for the beginning we need to open our browser. For the example, I will use Google Chrome browser. Click on it. Then you need to type next. Linux Slex and press enter. And here you may see the next message, Slex Linux, your pocket operating system. As you can see, they already present this operating system as OS, which you can run from your USB stick, portable OS. Now you need to click on this website. Link will be in the video description. So fellas, we are on the website, pocket operating system. Now we need to scroll down a little bit. Then you may see get Slex. So now you can decide which distribution do you want to choose, Slackware or Debian Linux distribution. I want to be honest with you, I'm a Windows user, but I like Debian Linux distribution because it's newer and it's much easier to install application using terminal on this distro. And that's why I'm going to install Debian Linux distribution. But please don't mention me wrong if you are a Linux user, because as far as I understand, this is the legendary distro which Linux user appreciate. But I will select this distro. Click on it. Then you need to select 64-bit or 32-bit version. Choose 64-bit version if you plan to run Slacks on newer computer made after the year 2010. Or choose 32-bit version if you plan to run Slacks on older computer made before the year 2010. That's mean if your processor support 32-bit, you can select this option. And if you have 64-bit processor, you can select this option. I will select this option my laptop since 2013. Then you may see the next message. Download Slacks for free and create a bootable SD or USB yourself. Further setup is simple but necessary. So I will select this option, click on it. Here you need to enter your email. And after that they will send you a letter with ISO file, which you can download on your laptop or computer. As you can see, I already enter my email and then I will select this option. Send download link to email. Click on it. And that's all, now we just need to check our email. After that you need to check your spam folder, click on it, and as you can see we have a letter. Click on it. Hello, here is your download link for Slacks, based on Debian 64 bit. Now you need to click on it and it will automatically download on your laptop or PC. Click on it. Now you need to wait until ISO file will be download on your system. So fellas, we successfully downloaded Linux Slacks on my system. In my case, I need to go to the downloads folder. And as you can see, this is my ISO file, 64-bit Slacks. We need to do one very important thing. We need to insert our USB stick into the laptop. Okay, I install my USB stick. Now we need to properly format our USB stick. We need to click on the right mouse button. Then you need to select format. And very, very important, please pay attention. Here, you need to select FAT32, default. Also, if you wish, here you can type Linux, Slacks, select quick format and click on start. Obviously, I want to warn you that all information will be deleted from your USB stick. If you have some important files, I recommend to save them before doing this. Click OK, wait a few seconds. And we successfully format our USB drive. My friends, now we're going to create a portable USB stick. Everything is very simple. We don't need to download Rufus, Balena Itcher or other software. We're going to use Windows, that's all. 
First of all, we need to go to the place where we save our operating system. In my case, I need to go to the downloads. I will open it in full screen to make it more convenient. Now we need to open this ISO file. Double clicking, open. Now we need to select this folder, click on the rightmost button, select copy, and we need to go to our USB stick. This is my USB drive, Linux Lex, click on it. You need to pass ISO file to your USB stick. Click on it. Literally now you just need to wait. This process may take few seconds. Voila, we successfully copied Slex Linux on our USB stick. I'm going to show you one interesting thing. How much space this OS takes. So click on the rightmost button, select this option, click on general. Surprisingly, by default, it is very light, but of course, it will become much larger after we install some basic application, and after this process, it will take about 1 gigabyte of space. But clearly, to be honest, it's not so large. I mean, in 2023, we have a portable OS which will take only 1 gigabyte of space. That's just hilarious. Okay, we will close this window, and the last step that we need to do. One more time, click on our USB stick, click on Slacks, then find boot. In this folder, we need to find this file, bootus, click on it, open. Now you just need to wait until it will finish. Okay, we successfully create a bootable USB drive. Now you should press enter. So fellas, believe me or not, but we create a bootable USB drive. That's all. Now we have possibility to run it on any computer. For real. But of course I recommend to safely remove your USB stick. For this click here, hidden icons, select this USB icon and find your USB drive. Click on it. Now you can successfully remove your flash drive from the laptop. So let's shut down the power and proceed to the next stage. My friends, as you can see, this is my laptop Lenovo ThinkPad L430 and this is my USB stick with portable Linux Lex. What do we need to do next? First of all, we need to insert our USB stick into the laptop. I want to remind you that this is USB 2.0 flash drive. So if you have a USB 3.0 flash drive, of course it will work much faster. But even on USB 2.0 flash drive, this portable OS works very fast. Believe me. So I will install my USB stick. Now we need to turn on the laptop and boot from our USB stick. And for this, we can use two popular methods. The first way is very simple. We need to turn on the laptop and press F12 key. We have an option to select our USB stick. So as you can see, this is my USB drive and it has 8 gigabytes of storage. But if for some reason you don't have this option to press F12 key, you need to enter the BIOS. To enter the BIOS, you need to turn on the laptop and press F1, F2 or delete key. It all depends on your model. In my case, I need to press F1 key. To know which key you need to press, you can check information on the internet. So I will turn on the laptop and press F1 key. As you can see, I successfully entered the BIOS and now you need to find boot option. So in my case, I need to go to the startup. So here you may see startup. In my case, BIOS in each model may be different, but this option is available in every BIOS. So you need to find boot. After that, you need to press enter. The thing is, here you may see my SSD drive. And this is my USB stick. So I need to move up my USB stick. And for this, I will use F6 key. I will move it up. Actually, in the BIOS, you can find information which key you need to press to move it up or down. After you move your USB stick at the first place, you need to save the changes and restart the laptop. I will select exit saving changes, enter, and the laptop will restart. And voila, we see Slack's OS logo. I want to remind you that I'm using USB 2.0 flash drive, so first time it may take about 2 to 3 minutes. So now you just need to wait. And finally, we are in the Slack's OS. Here you may see this icon. Actually, this is the startup menu and it looks like Windows 11 logo, but the green one. So click on it. And as you can see, everything works quite fast if we're clicking on the startup menu. By default, you have only few applications. Of course, terminal, file manager, 
calculator. Here you may see the web browser, but to be honest, we need to click on it to install it on our USB stick because it's not installed. Then you may see net manager, text editor, archiver, and the task manager. If we click on the task manager, open it in full screen to make it more convenient. And as you can see, Linux using right now 309 megabytes of RAM. That's just hilarious. Also, you may see that my laptop has 8 gigabytes of RAM, but as I previously said, the minimum requirements to run this OS will be 1 gigabytes of RAM, in my opinion. Okay, I will close this window. So first of all, we need to connect to the internet. For this, we need to click here on Net Manager, click on it. And now you need to select your internet connection. I'm using laptop, so I will connect to the internet using Wi-Fi. We need to enable Wi-Fi. Wait a few minutes. And yes, this is my internet. So connect to your internet. Click here. Enter the password. OK. I successfully connected my laptop to the internet. So now we can close this window. One more time, click on the startup menu and select web browser. Click on it. OK, Chromium is a free and open source version of the famous Chrome browser developed by Google. So click yes. Now you may see installation process in the terminal and that's normal for Linux. I successfully installed Chromium browser on Linux Lex. Now we can open it, click on it. And as you can see, it is very fast for sure. It's take about one second to launch this browser. So fellas, I want to remind you that my laptop has Intel Core i3 processor of third generation and we running portable operating system from USB 2.0 flash drive. As I previously said, this operating system will be perfect for people who want to work on the internet. And as you can see, this is very popular YouTuber. Andrei Mikhailovich Tech browser work perfectly. We can open few tabs everything works correctly. So we can go to the task manager and see how many RAM system use right now. And it use 725 megabytes. That's mean if you want to open few tabs, definitely you need to have at least one gigabytes of RAM. It will be the minimum requirements to run stably this OS. Now I will close this window and install some simple application. After I close the browser, it takes only 300 megabytes. And definitely that's impressive because we have the latest version of the Chromium browser. One more time, click on the startup menu, open the terminal. The first application will be Telegram. So to install it, you need to type next. apt install Telegram dash desktop apt install telegram dash desktop press enter do you want to continue you need to type y or n which mean yes or no so i will type y press enter of course now you just need to wait and it will depend on the application how much space does it takes i successfully installed telegram on my laptop so now i can type exit press enter and voila, now you have opportunity to use this application. Click on it. I want to be honest with you, this application runs without any problem, but right now I'm recording video using my smartphone and I don't want to stop record video, but believe me, it works without any problem. Now I'm going to show you how to install quite popular application, which will help us to take screenshots and edit them. So click on the terminal and now you need to type next. Apt install flame shut apt install flame shut press enter one more time you need to type y which means yes press enter and downloading process begin now we can close this window click on the startup menu and voila we have flame shut now we can click on it and it appear in our window. So how to use it? I will show you. For the example, I will open browser. To make a screenshot, you just need to click on this application, which you may see here, Flameshot. You have opportunity to select full screen or less. For the example, I want to select Andrei Mihailovich Tech. Okay. 
Also, we have some basic tools. If you click here, you can type text. For the example, hello. Here we can change the size of the text. Also, we have possibility to use the pencil. Actually, it all depends on you. If you take a close look, you may see the actual screen resolution of the photo which we want to save. And of course, if you want to save the file, you need to find this icon, save the capture. Click on it. Now you can click on root, download, open and save. And voila, we successfully save our photo. One more time, we need to click on the startup menu, click on the file manager, root, download. And as you can see, this is my photo. This is my screenshot. Everything is very simple. So folks, in short, this operating system is very simple. You can get some simple, basic application. And if you want to work in the browser, on the internet, definitely I recommend to use this software. And I want to notice that it works very fast, even on slow USB drive. Also, I want to notice if the second time you will use USB stick, all information will be saved. So that's totally cool, convenient. Of course, it will depend on how much storage do you have. To shut down the power, you need to click here and select shut down the power. In my opinion, Linux Lex is very impressive because you can install it on USB stick that has one gigabyte of storage. And even if you have USB 2.0 flash drive, it still will work fast, for real. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it. And if you are a Windows user, but you want to run portable operating system from your USB stick, definitely I recommend to click here on this video.